So two years ago, I got this garbage bag that uh, it comes flattened and it's really easy to put away and to use in the garden to just drag it around. But it's, um, it's really all the, actually the straps here, the handles are gone because you know how old it is. But um, I bought myself a new one this year and uh, this one seems a little bit haughtier and uh, like a little bit more heavy duty which I love, uh, but honestly, I can use both of these in the garden because my kids can use the old one when I need them and I can use this one. So let me show you what I'm going to be doing today. I basically have this bed where, you know, the perennials and everything that I left from last year are still there. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the, the tulips are coming along nicely. And these tulips, you guys, that you see here, were planted two years ago. So last year, the tulips came for the first time in the spring. They bloomed. I waited until the foliage was dead and I cut the foliage, not messing with the bulbs. And look at that. This year, they are coming through again and I am so excited about that. I have some perennials here that I just need to clean up. I even have a baby, sugar baby melon there that needs to be put away. And I got some geraniums there as well. Just cleaning up, making sure that the flower bed looks good for when the tulips are blooming. Okay, so it looks so much better. I didn't do that much, just taking out the dead perennial foliage and just picking up some of the weeds that were starting to pop. It has been uh, a little bit warm this week here in Indiana, in central Indiana. So some things are starting to come up as, as far as weeds, but the perennials are just starting to pop up. So, so I just wanna cut all the dead and just give all the all the new green coming up, a chance to really, really start growing. And that's just basically what I did. So if you notice the three honeysuckles that I have growing in this trellis here, in this wall, they're just starting to wake up. Let me show you. Okay, so if you look at the vine, it's nicely wrapping around and some of the new growth it's starting to come up through the vines, if you can see that. It's getting warm outside, so that's what happens. But also, the dead berries are still attached to there. And what I'm going to do is basically, I'm going to come here and I'm going to cut right about here. So the dead blooms are gone, but I can leave all of the new growth coming on the vines. And I'm going to keep the pruning of the honeysuckle to a minimum right now, because from what I read, honeysuckles bloom on old growth. So if I started doing some cuttings right now, I am going to be cutting blooms. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to let these honeysuckles bloom and then when they're done blooming I am going to come here and cut about a third of the vines down. So right now my main thing will be to cut the dead blooms and leaving everything else there.
these mums that I plant that I planted here a few years ago are beautiful and they're in this red purple color and I'm going to wait a little bit uh, a little bit more maybe here in like a couple of weeks when I see more coming I, I am going to divide them so that I can just keep extending the area so you can see when I'm moving the foliage here on these mums the, the new growth on the perennial is coming through. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut all of this dead around dead so that the new growth can have some more sunlight and can breathe. I know that I have a nice area over here. So hopefully I can take some of this chunk here and move it all the way over there. I wasn't going to trim the roses today, but the more I look at them, I realize that the buds are developing on them. See that? So I think I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm just going to be really careful first. I just want to take the, the height first. Okay, so now that I have the height where I want it, right over here on this one. So what I'm going to do is just look for that dead branches in the middle things that just didn't make it through the winter and you'll know which ones they are this one looks pretty good i have alliums and i have tulips here so i just want to be very careful not to step on anything So that looks better. And I think what I'm going to do is gonna get some fertilizer this week and I'm just going to take care of everything and I'll show you that in the next video. But that's it for today, you guys. It's just so nice out here this week that I couldn't just sit inside and not do anything outside. So until the next video.